Do you find yourself lost with the endless stream of games coming out? Oh man, here is another Battle Royale game, but this time you play as a bean! Woo! <laughs> or, you know, that I have these specific games for my device, and that's it. Let's say you got yourself a new device, like a new PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or a Switch. You're unsure what new game should I be on the lookout for? Hey, guess what? There's a channel that will help you resolve your doubt. That's right, you guessed it. Gamers Among Us is here with another Watchlist Wednesday with four new games that you need to keep an eye on that are coming out within the next few days. Heck, even if you watch this later, it's good to get a quick little blurb on these games. As always, we want to bring you a quick and succinct presentation so you know more about these games to help you know if it's worth it for you. This is your host today, The Steel Grizzly, bringing you those new games. Well, I've rambled on enough. Let's check them out. We're looking into Dragon Quest Builders 2, an action role-playing sandbox game that is sure to excite those Minecraft Terraria builders out there. Then we're looking into a out-of-body experience with Etherborn, as you are a voiceless being that has to explore your environment in this puzzle platformer. Then we have Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. Assemble your ultimate team of superheroes as you fight with your friends in this title. Last, we're looking into a mysterious world of Lost Ember, where you play the role of different animals uncovering the fate of an ancient world. Are you excited to get more into these games? I sure am. So let's dive, float, build, and fight our way through these four interesting games. Need something new to jump into after playing some of the same old Minecraft? Maybe you love Minecraft so much you just want to play games that are similar to it? Well, look no further as we jump into Dragon Quest Builders 2, which has been developed by Square Enix and published by Nintendo. It's set to be released July 12, 2019 for the Switch and PlayStation 4 in the US, as it's already been out since December 18, 2018 for the Japanese release. Your goal in this game is to stop the worshippers from an ancient evil. You must join forces with the mysterious Malroth and build a ravaged world into the realm of your dreams. What this means is you get to explore huge islands, gather and craft materials, design towns, level those towns up, then defend those towns from monsters and bosses with the townspeople. Along the way, you'll be able to get new crafting recipes and building plans that will help you continue with new ways to play while you progress. You can play in third person or play in first person perspective. Improving from the first game, you can now dash, glide, swim, and fast travel as you explore this world creating new towns with townspeople to inhabit. This game looks to bring in some unique features to separate itself from the growing sandbox creation games. Tired of going at it alone? Well, you can bring up to three other friends or builders along with you in local wireless or play online with each other. That's right, never leave the comfort of your couch as you create a world with friends, or destroy. There isn't much for character creation as you can choose to either be a female or a male builder. However, this game doesn't just focus on building, farming, or the like as you can also fight the evil Hargon and his minions, along with your friend Malroth who can run through areas cleaving enemies. This game looks to be fun to play by yourself with Malroth or along with fellow builders. We're looking forward to this release. Delve into the environmental puzzle platformer built on exploring and understanding gravity shifting structures. You are a voiceless being that has just been born into a world where a bodiless voice awaits your arrival as we move into Etherborn. This game is both developed and published by Altered Matter, set to come out on July 18, 2019 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. In this world, the laws of physics behave in a way that will bend your imagination. While playing, you will experience gravity perpendicular to the surface you are standing on, which allows for creative exploration possibilities in environments crafted as navigation-based puzzles. Make sure to observe and explore your surroundings. That way you can fully understand how each structure is designed and figure a way to solve it. Along the way, you'll find and collect mysterious light orbs that are scattered about. Use these orbs to help activate switches that will help to alter your surroundings and help you move on to the next level. 
this game really wants to place the emphasis that gravity isn't a thing, as each level you find yourself upside down, sideways, and so many other ways trying to solve the area in which you're in. Including, as you can see, a beautiful atmosphere along with a dynamic and captivating original soundtrack. Are you ready to leap into this gravity shifting game? Assemble your super team. No, your ultimate team of superheroes from the huge cast including the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, X-Men, and so much more. You can team up with your friends to prevent galactic devastation at the hands of the mad cosmic tyrant Thanos and his unforgiving henchmen. Moving to Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order, developed by the team Team Ninja and published by Nintendo, as this game is a console exclusive to, uh, you guessed it, the Nintendo Switch on July 19th, 2019. This game allows you to team up with your friends with either local or online multiplayer, which allows up to four total players on a single screen. Woo, yes. Nintendo Switch still keeping that couch co-op going strong, or online with friends on multiple screens. With this new entry, which has been long awaited for over 10 years now, as we return to what made this game series great, backed by comic lovers, this game brings out the quick playing superhero throwdowns we have all come to love with the recent Marvel successes in the movies. The gameplay is simple and easy to grasp as you sort of button mash your way to fight the onslaught of enemies to take out your heroes. Though this game amps it up and pushes you to make your decisions fast as you play, you can upgrade your heroes which allows you to use their specific powers as you deal with sometimes overwhelming amounts of enemies. This game looks to bring out the high octane action we feel on screen in theaters to your hands in the Switch. You can play as Groot while friends play as Spider-Man, Captain America, or Deadpool while you fight alongside each other, dishing out some glorious hits to those bad guys set on world destruction. As we mentioned, there's a hero leveling involved in this game, so it isn't all button mashing throughout the levels. You need to take a moment to make sure your character is properly leveled up. Along with that, you can level up your overall alliance to help the team as well. Don't worry about leveling up too much, as you'll find through natural gameplay and the campaign, you will level up rather quickly. Are you ready to hop in with your friends, or take Thanos and his army on solo? I for one am excited to pick up some of my favorite superheroes to take on those baddies in this arcade style action game. Moving into a story driven third person exploration adventure game, we see ourselves set as a wolf with a determined companion at your side in Lost Ember. Published and developed by Moon Eye Studios, said to be released July 19th, 2019, will be playable on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Originally, this game was presented as a Kickstarter placed back in 2016 and was fully backed as many fans are excited awaiting this game's release. As you see, nature has claimed back the post-apocalyptic realm of a fallen civilization. You play a wolf with a trick up its sleeve. You can control every animal you see, which you will need plenty of help to find the answer to all the questions your mysterious companion raises. Unveil a story of loyalty, despair, and betrayal that led this world to come to ruin. You can control each animal which offers up a unique aspect of gameplay, as each animal will offer a unique perspective. Diving deep into water, fly at lofty heights, dig underground as a mole, or even climb steep cliffs with a mountain goat. Distinctively, we see a difference from typical games as Lost Ember doesn't have super hard puzzles, combat, or dying in general. This game focuses more on the aspect of exploration through the eyes of so many different types of animals. Along the way, your companion who used to be part of the old Enorashi culture, who witnessed its fall, provides you with seeing his memories, echoes of the past you could say, that help you relive what he's been through to help you understand more of what happened to the world. I am excited to see this game come out with the option to play as a parrot, fish, mole, eagle, capybara, mountain goat, and so much more. Who will you end up possessing as you dive deeper into the story of Lost Ember? I hope you enjoyed the ride through all those games this week on our Gamers Watchlist video. If you'd like to help the channel out, make sure you leave a like on the video and comment below if you'd like to see more games coming out, maybe what games you'd like us to look into, or just what games you think we may have missed. Make sure to click subscribe and leave that bell icon on. That way, you don't miss out on any gaming news, podcasts, gaming reviews, or any new videos we push out. I'd also like to point out, 
we do have a website you can reach us at gamersamongus.com. There you can see all our articles, links to videos we've put out, including our full lineup on watch list videos on what's coming out within the next year. We're still working on the site, but hope it'll be something we can all enjoy. This is the Still Grizzly signing off, hoping you have good luck with all your future gaming.